Hello, my name is Joy. It's time for another Human Race Club meeting, and you can be in on it if you want to be. All you have to do is go up into the treehouse. I'm pretty sure that things are just about ready to begin. I want to discuss. What's the problem, AJ? It's Mr. Crabtree. What did Crabtree do this time? It's nothing more than usual, I guess. It's just that I get so tired of his slinking around, spying on us, trying to get us in trouble. Did you know that he's accusing us of knocking over everyone's trash cans last week? I wouldn't be surprised if he knocked over the trash cans just so he could say that we did it. He's such a grouch. He's a grouch, all right. All old people are grouches. I agree. Worse than being grouches, they're all so slow. My only complaint about old people is that they're so forgetful. You're right about that, Pamela. Old people are forgetful. I can't believe that this conversation is really happening. What do you mean? Is there something wrong with the conversation we're having? There most certainly is something wrong with it. What? AJ, I'm surprised that after what you went through with Joey Estrada, you could be saying the things you're saying. What does Joey Estrada have to do with old people? Plenty. Do you know what Teddy's talking about? Beats me. I'm with AJ. I can't see any connection between Joey Estrada and old people. Maggie, the connection is prejudice and discrimination. Hmm, that's an interesting observation. While the club members try to figure out what Teddy is talking about, let me bring you up to date by telling you what happened between AJ and Joey Estrada. A.J. was born and brought up in an integrated community, so even though he was black, he had had very few encounters with prejudice and discrimination. One of those encounters began with a school assignment. This is what happened. One day, A.J.'s teacher announced to the class, For the next few weeks, we are going to study written communications. To make our study more interesting, I have arranged for you to correspond with some students from another school. As A.J.'s teacher continued to talk, she walked around the classroom and placed a 3 by 5 inch card on every student's desk. I'm giving each of you the name and address of a pen pal. I want you to write letters to this person and I will mail them. Hopefully, your pen pal will respond to your letters and I think it would be fun for you to share them with the class. A.J. picked up his card and looked at the name printed on it. He hated to write letters. So he felt a definite resistance to the idea of having a pen pal. Who did you get? Joey Estrada. Seconds later, AJ was staring at a blank sheet of paper on his desk while his teacher was explaining the basics of letter writing. AJ had a difficult time paying attention to the lesson. But in spite of his lack of interest, he was able to pin a letter. It read, Dear Joey, my name is Andrew Jones. My friends call me AJ. I am five feet tall. I weigh 90 pounds. I have black hair and brown eyes. I like to play basketball. 
My teacher gave me your name and address and told me to write to you. So I did. Sincerely, AJ. Glad to have the letter behind him, AJ quickly forgot about it. Not until his mother presented him with a letter from Joey Estrada did A.J. remember his pen pal and the writing assignment. A.J. carelessly tore open the envelope his mother had handed him, removed the letter inside, and began reading. Dear A.J., you might not believe this. Hello, this is Joy. For the ending to this video and for other videos like it, go to our website at joyberryenterprises.com.